Well, I like to have a window that's included with uh, grills, uh, the normal classical window that you might see in an everyday home. Okay, the first we like to have the uh, holder for fixing up the window that will be made with the help of sweep profile. Okay, this type of holder and what I'm gonna do here is get into new family, again how a metric window will be right there. I got exterior view and the interior view right here so the window glass or the whole assembly will be placed right onto the exterior view so right in here I can well get into the 3d view okay this will be the interior side and this will be the exterior side as you can see right from here okay uh, well, I'd like to uh, draw the holder for window with the help of a sweep. So get into sweep, I can uh, make use of pick path option right there. Okay, then I'd like to edit the profile. Uh, the holder doesn't exist through all the wall, so maybe 100, maybe 100, and uh, the thickness will be 2.5 centimeter. And uh, right in here, I'm terminating and uh, just make a room for the window that might be 12 centimeter I don't know 12 millimeter it might be that all right that looks so cool then enable it not caring on materials as I'm not interested in changing up the materials right from the project as I'm getting too realistic I got the uh, whole window assembly right here holder for holding up the window then uh, next thing I can get into the uh, well exterior view next I'd like to fix up the whole window right there uh, the holder is already done and I can fix up the window by uh, making use of extrusion and uh, the difference in here will be we will be having the sort of separation right there so first the number of separation equal to a number of reference plane get into reference plane Maybe I like to have three separations right there. So one, two, and three. I can go for a dimension. I, I can fix up all this dimension and I can turn up the equality constraint right there. Okay, then I like to have the extrusion. Uh, maybe I can have pick line and uh, lock option be turned on. The thickness of the, I said maybe 50. It's not compulsory to turn up the thickness. Uh, well, uh, picking up these lines first. Uh, exterior sketch will be encouraged. Alright, after drawing up the exterior sketch, you might know that in Revit, if the sketch inside a sketch will create an opening right there. So, I like to have the thickness of the exterior shutter right there. This will be maybe like uh, 100. So I like to take up the rectangle and offset I'm gonna give the value of 100 then I can drop the profile overlapping hit spacebar to turn up the profile into a different direction okay then I like to have the internal partition right there with the help of pick line and uh, for the internal partition the thickness will be maybe 50 I don't know so I like to offset it in either direction pick line uh, just like this pick line first line and second line first line and second line okay then you can make use of trim or extend multiple element pick up the line oh, oh man I missed it then I like to really break this apart by using split element delete the inner segments and I like to wish I just repeat the whole steps all right that looks okay now enable it and then I can get into the reference level uh, well, you can see that uh, the extrusion is always projecting a little bit upward, so I can make use of this drag handle and turn it right into the groove. Okay, so that's okay for now. Uh, well, great. Next thing I'd like to have the total glass for this. So, right in the same step, you can have the extrusion. Okay, you can have either rectangle or pick line lock. Just picking up these points where you would like to see of the uh, glass that looks so great and enable it. I like to change up the material into glass. Uh, okay, that's cool. 
Now the part of thickness. Okay, this one, where is the glass? This one is the glass, and I'm thinking that the glass will stay right at the center of this groove. So again, I make use of this drag handle. Uh, really not much considering about the minor details. Maybe the glass stays right at the center of the part. Okay, so that's well fixed up. Uh, maybe if you like to change up the material for the window. Oh yeah, that's it. Uh, well, that's okay for now. Next, let me try to flex it, whether all the parameters works in a perfect manner or not. I like to fix up the height and width, so this would be like 1.5 meter. Apply. Yeah, that's cool. And, uh, well, again, how maybe the height will be 2 meter. Yeah, that's also working. That's a perfect way. Alright, anyways, now let's fix up the grills right in here. Okay, I won't recommend you to draw the grills right into the same family. I can uh, pick it up a different face based family to drop the grills. So turn it up, new family. I'll be interested in picking up a face based family right there. And I like to pick it up. And you can see that by getting into here, the 3D view, I can see up a small sample box right there. And that box will represent the face or the host which you're gonna pick up the grills. So right in here, I'll be fixing up the grills um, right onto this face. Uh, getting into the 3D view, reference level. And I'll be interested in uh, maybe a rectangle or a circular grid depends, depending on the need of the client. Uh, well, there you can have the rectangle R or the offset value right there, maybe uh, 5 uh, to both sides. Uh, well, trim. Alright, okay, that's cool. And I like to fix up the height. As you have to understand that the height of the grills will be same as that of the height of the window. I should be a little less tolerance as I'm not carrying the tolerance. Uh, well, getting into the friend elevation, I like to fix up the height of the window simply by a reference plane. So, just right in here, I can have the dimension for uh, fixing up the height. I can have, uh, well, uh, the height to be like uh, grill height. Grill height. Okay, uh, next, I like to align, align and lock. Lock it, okay. So just keep it right there, and I like to load it right into my project 3D view. Well, I would like to place it right in here, okay. Stay there. Next thing, I like to fix up the height. So picking up the asset, get into edit type. I know that the height of the grill will be same as that of the height of the window. To be more precise, you can get into the elevation. Uh, I like to turn up the wireframe on. So the height of the grills will be same as that of the height of the window right here. So I like to associate the family parameter. So just get in here, associate the family parameter, which will be the height of the grills, okay? Well, that's it. I told you there will be a little bit of tolerance right there, um, which cannot be controlled right in there. So, man, if you like to have the height of the grills will be uh, something less than height of the window as I'm not interested in that. You can add up a new variable and assign a formula for that and assign that parameter into this height, okay? Which will be, makes no sense as we're not going to see any of this thing right into, uh, right once if it's been uh, fixed up into the wall, okay? Or, you know, if, if you're so much curious about that task, I'll show you how to fix it up right now. All right. Uh, right in the edit type of this asset, I have fixed up um, the height. Uh, the grill height will be associated to the uh, height of the window. Maybe I'll like to know that the height of the window shall be a little bit less than here. So, getting understand what how much height will be lesser than. Uh, it could be like maybe 38 millimeter okay well uh, i'm going to create a new uh, well parameter this one will be um grilled acid okay great common and length 
in the grill let's say can have in a formula of the height copy height will be subtracted with 38 okay that's it and picking up here edit type again how grill is it okay you can see that's perfect here okay um maybe a little bit more or less uh, uh, it's 12 uh, so total will be 50 okay that's it uh, 38 minus uh, 50 will be much more better okay that's cool now we like to have a multiple copies of this grill I can turn up the array right getting into the elevation I like to select up this material for arraying so maybe I'm having three numbers and I like to move the object to the last so I'll just uh, pick it up right here okay now we like to attach the grills right into the width of the windows I would like to attach grills right into the width of the window so I like to align uh, maybe uh, the grills will be starting from this point uh, to this uh, just lock it up and also the other grills will be starting from this right into here okay lock it up okay uh, next I'm gonna control the parameter for the number of items so just picking up the align and add a parameter that will be just like number of grills okay and you know number of grills will be a function of width if I'm changing the width of the uh, window I would like to have the grills to flex it accordingly so you know copy control C I can have the width will be divided by maybe a number uh, I don't know whether it's 100 uh, no 100 is a bit bigger you can have uh, maybe uh, 300 okay that looks great oh uh, well get into the 3d view I'm having a grills right in here so you know so I'm controlling the width of the window right from here maybe 1200 okay you can see up that the grills has been flexing accordingly and also the same procedure you can apply to fix up the horizontal grids right there which would be like uh, the uh, same procedure the only difference will be that just get into a uh, new and right in here the uh, face will be maybe the vertical face of the panel right there and I'll be interested in uh, changing up the width of the panel as the width of the okay so the same procedure I can have extrusion a pick line and maybe I like to just uh, lock it 20 uh, well uh, this will be the width of the grill grill width and lock to this face I will be writing this face okay one more thing I like to care is uh, well get into edit type uh, the grill width shall be associated with the uh, width of the window right there so also uh, and obviously you can have some parameters like grill that said as you don't want to see the projections right there okay so I'm have a line and well lock it array this stuff okay picking up the object I like to array this align and uh, hard time to fix up what is what okay then next thing I can apply parameter to the height so okay anyways this will be um, a formula get into family types and I can control this by using a formula this will be based on the height control C height will be divided by maybe oh, well 300 okay that's done